Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a real short video actually. In our last one, we put that reinforcement plate and the repair plate for the uh, torsion bracket. And we stopped at our spot weld point because I showed you, um, I bought a spot welder for this very area and also the back strike plate there, which hasn't come in yet, but will be here soon. Um, so what I wanted to do is run some tests with the little unit and I'll show you, I thought I'd show you my little test strips before we go and do our spot welds here. There's gonna be about six here, six here. Um, so let me get you over to the unit and show you what I've done. Um, after a few little um, comments from some people got, gave me some good input, I made a few tweaks to it. So let me show you. So this is the unit I picked up. These are pretty common. This is the 240 volt one. Um, and it comes with these uh, copper tips here. I fitted uh, the ones that came with it and you get a spare set. Now, I um, can't remember who it was who mentioned it. Uh, I actually um, I remember on a few different groups and that. Um, I don't know whether it was our group or our page, but suggested filing these tips. Um, the top of the tip of the one that you get, I mean, you see it there, is approximately two mil across. Okay, so that's obviously a very small um, area there and provides a very small spot weld. So um, I filed it with a regular file around here somewhere. Anyway, uh, I filed it so that that tip is around four mil near to five mil. And they're set there. You've got to adjust this head to make sure that these come down nice and parallel and file it so you, let me show you. So essentially where the tips come together, they're not doing that, they're nice and flat. And what I've done is I filed it and backlit it to make sure uh, we've got it nice and flat. And I've been playing around with some 18 gauge, nice and clean, and playing around with uh, the different spots here. And I'll show you on camera uh, how it performs. Um, any video I've seen, they tend to do just a really quick blast and I didn't think they were doing it long enough. And I'm doing it for more like uh, oh, about three, four seconds or so to get good penetration. And uh, it seems to be working really nicely, especially when you file the tips. Um, it's uh, spreading the, the heat across a larger area and giving you a larger spot. There you go, there's a little test panel. We'll take one of these little panels in the vise and try and break it, all right? So let me show you. Uh, so here's a couple of little test strips here. Right, simple test strip. Right, we're in nice and close there. I'm gonna give it a blast of a couple of seconds and then we'll move along and do a, another blast uh, a little bit longer, all right? So, position that, clamp it. Not really go crazy, but just holding it together. We'll do, let's do uh, two seconds, right? One, two. Let me get the glove, because it's blooming hot. You can see that. Right, we'll move along here. We'll do three seconds. One, two, three. See a nice, nice glow. So we're getting really nice penetration there through to the other side. It's bloody hot, that is. Let's do a little longer on this final one. Maybe like four seconds. I think the four seconds it'll blow through, but actually on 18 gauge. One, two, three, four. You can see how it gets blooming hot, doesn't it? Oh, not too bad. That didn't blow through. Now, I've been giving these tips a little clean up every so often. So let's um, let's do another one just for yucks. Right got some gloves here now so okay you can see the different heat um, penetration there from um, two three and four so all I'm doing is just giving that a nice clean up there obviously it's making it a tad bigger but that's okay and we'll turn it round as I say I use this uh, little flashlight behind it to just see if we've got a nice flat surface to flat surface that's pretty good we'll do three seconds right one two three 
also I noticed that someone I can't remember uh, I was watching some tests on YouTube so they were sticking a lot and I think that was just because the metal was dirty don't seem to be getting that too bad ready one two three one two three that's better right let's take these to the bench the uh, device and try and break them all right so that's three real close ones there let's go over to the bench and put them through some torture I uh, see I pressed too hard there and it burned through a bit that uh four one the one that we did at four seconds I think they must have not done it right because that just failed instantly so that's my fault I think that's Let's just torture it so now I'm just tearing the metal Back and forth, back and forth. Let's reposition it. See, I'm just tearing the metal there now, look. So, I'd say... See that? I think that's pretty good myself. I mean, that's held on, isn't it? It's just torn the surrounding metal. So, just to follow on, a few days later, I've ordered some new tips. These are the ones that came with it, and I was... They, they seem to be a little unreliable. I wasn't getting consistent results, you know. So I went ahead. These were about 19 bucks for these two tips. Uh, US made ones. And I'm kind of assuming maybe uh, uh, they're better quality. I don't know. But I've been playing around with them. And they do seem to be getting a nicer spot weld. Uh, taking time to dress them nicely. And get the surface contact as close as darn it and uh, the, the surface on these came much larger uh, right out of the box so I've got a few test strips here I'm gonna try let's try this one first try these I'm going just around just over two seconds that's what I've been finding seems to work nice two Getting a hot edge there. One, two. Do a little more on this one. One, two, three. Nice glow on that one. I think that one was a little better. You can see that. A little bit more broader of a spot there it looks more like the factory spot uh, a little nicer looking actually so let's leave that one to cool off a bit and we'll do a longer run of it I'm just going to dress this I was thinking I was getting a little hot spot there that looks pretty good so let's try this one I'm going to do several along this one Tell you what, let's put a clamp on it, so that's probably what I'll be doing on the job anyway. So let's clamp it so we're not having to press too hard. One, two, three. That looks really nice actually, that one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoops. A little burn through there, so I'll shorten it just a smidge. One, two. That's a little better. One, two. One, two. Yeah, they look pretty nice. Yeah, I went a little long on these ones, so a little pitted there, but there we go. I think the new tips make it a lot nicer.
I really think, uh, I think Ron was saying actually the quality of the, uh, the copper is more pure if you, than the ones you get with the machine. I was having a little difficulty getting consistent results and also the tip was very narrow I found and this broader tip seems to get a much more factory looking spot weld and the main thing is to keep these as clean as possible and dress them on occasionally so let's uh, let's take these over on the bench and see if we'll, we can break them Now, the outer one I didn't do a good job on, so I'm expecting that to fail, but, no, it isn't. So, that certainly grabbed it. I don't think you can complain about that, putting it through its torture. No, I'm not... I'd have to really work that and I think the metal's going to tear before that and that's just three spots there I thought this one wasn't going to be a very good one but it's held really nicely so that's that one yeah this is this is performing so much better. I mean, I've been messing around with the original tips off camera and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna waste my time anymore with it. It's worth, I mean, I'm very happy with that. That's, that's very strong. I'm gonna try my first spot weld with my spot welder that we tested. Now, as you know, this isn't the lightest of machines, so if we can get that guy in there, and we're going to give it a little blast. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. There you go, getting a little bit more red there. First one, don't think I was on there long enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that's a better one. You're not bad. I went a little mad on that one. It blew through on the other side, which I'll have to repair like normal plug welding, but that makes it a little easier, doesn't it? So, looks like two seconds. That was a good one. So there you can see on the top side we've got uh, probably about seven spots here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I did a little extra on the top because of the extra thickness. So after all the fussing around with this little spot welder, this 240 volt spot welder, um, couple of things it works actually pretty well but um, I would ditch these tips that come with it and I ended up getting mine on Amazon and uh, it was from a company called Thrasher products I'm not affiliated with these guys I mean I'm sure there's lots of them on there and they have all various different types of tips uh, for various applications for getting into tight areas I ended up with the uh, broader type it's almost like a quarter of an inch surface area it's, oh yeah quarter inch contact tip and the thread size for this machine is m8 with a 1.25 thread you got to know that so it screws into these rods nicely and with a little bit of fussing around the main thing is to get those tips parallel so they contact as close to flat on each other as possible also to keep them clean um, while messing around on the car patch at the back here I think it picked up probably a little under seal or some dirt that I'd missed and then fouled them up a little bit and a couple of the spot welds at the back aren't the best but 
I got uh, at least six to seven spot welds on each side so I'm perfectly happy with that and that is only the backing plate anyway so one other thing that I noticed um, when you're putting the two uh, flat pieces of metal together it's very important that they're flat against each other no gapping so if you need to put a clamp there to put them firmly together because I think that, um, on my test a couple of the areas where uh, they failed and they got all uh, they broke away is where those metals weren't dead flat together so really make sure that they're they're crunched together so you get a good weld right through to each of the sides so keep them clean keep them parallel dress them occasionally after about you know a dozen or so spots I would say and you're getting a really nice weld uh, where is it this one and you as you saw on the bench I tested this one and tried to bend it and there's no way you're breaking that and that is just like a typical um, you know say a rocker spot weld or pinch weld or whatever you call it so very happy with that so if you are going to get one of these definitely upgrade the tips and you'll be good to go so thanks all for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one all right take care bye bye